A visit to Ikea will likely result in you encountering their endlessly confusing floor plan. It's confusing by design, but that's the point. Despite being the world's largest furniture retailer, Ikea is anything but traditional. The Swedish furniture giants store and distribute their products in flat packed boxes that can be assembled by customers. Is the company's runaway success due to these retail strategies or their famous Swedish meatballs? We're going to look at IKEA's innovative business practices and how they've transformed our lives. IKEA is kind of like a maze of different rooms. As soon as you walk in, all customers must follow a designated path, which is a fixed path design. The store isn't built for you to grab an item and get out. There's a lot of room to spend time thinking about what kind of kitchen you'd like or what bedroom would be perfect for you. To keep customers curious, IKEA stores have a maze-like floor plan that curves about every 50 feet. According to the IKEA website, IKEA stores typically have about 300,000 square feet or five American football fields. There will be a lot of walking involved. It's no secret that IKEA puts its customers to work. Many IKEA pieces have to be assembled by customers, unlike most furniture retailers. Where does this idea come from? You can have a challenging time building your own IKEA cabinet. When we put effort into something, we have a more positive attitude towards it. Due to that, we believe they are more valuable. That is referred to as the IKEA effect. Researchers noticed similar phenomena in other products and businesses in 2011 and introduced the term IKEA effect. In the 1950s, instant cake mixes didn't sell well. Afterward, they said, let's add a fresh egg because customers didn't want to feel guilty about taking a shortcut. They wanted to feel like they were more involved in the process. You've probably noticed IKEA's unconventional product names at one of their massive warehouse stores. However, did you know IKEA sometimes comes up with a price tag first when creating these items? The $1 light bulb is a classic example they talk about all the time. The idea was that if they could make a $1 light bulb, lots of people would buy LED light bulbs. Their design was backward to suit their price point. A large part of IKEA's success is its obsession with low prices. There are 445 IKEA stores worldwide today. You're going to find IKEA products in a student dorm room, but you'll also find them in a wealthy person's home. This is what they aim for. That's how IKEA became a mass market sensation in the 1950s with its affordable furniture. Now, we have to understand that IKEA also has a secret source for success. As a teenager, Invar Kamprad came up with the idea that furniture could be flat packed to cut shipping costs. IKEA's biggest breakthrough was flat packing, which led to its growth. The idea is to deconstruct any product into flat packs that can fit in the IKEA warehouse and your car too. This is a good idea from a logistical perspective, as well as from a consumer perspective, since transportation is easier. A great balance between price, form, function, aesthetics, and sustainability. Designing a product is driven by this principle. As far as they are concerned, it can't just be really cool looking. It can't just be functional. It has to balance everything. The result is that customers can't get enough of IKEA despite long shopping trips and assembly time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you join our notification squad and hit that bell button.